Jake Ludington here at IBM Impact, and I'm here with Michael Lavaca. And we were having a conversation off camera that you tell me that you have a mainframe on your laptop. How is that possible? So in IBM, we've uh, we've developed a product called Rational Developer and Tests, and it allows us to not have to use uh, an on-site, you know, refriger refrigerator-sized box mainframe in order to do our developing and testing for our enterprise applications, um, which. I don't know if, if any of you know this, but actually mainframes run uh, the major business transactions of the world. So every time you swipe an ATM card, it's going to hang a mainframe. Um, and this year is actually our 50th anniversary, so we're pretty proud that it's lasted this long and it's going to last so many years beyond this just because of the power and uh, scalability, reliability, and security that this platform brings to our, our enterprise customers. Um, so on the topic of actually uh, putting on a laptop, we developed a tool uh, that allows us to emulate the ZOS operating system running on uh, x86 architecture. So what that means is that we can have our mainframe development environment running on uh, a laptop, a Blade server, um, even a desktop PC, and still do our development in COBOL, PL1, um, and actually and Kix transactions, IMS transactions, and test all these uh, ATM-like business processes uh, that, that, that don't actually have to touch a physical mainframe. So we don't have to waste all the money and uh, uh, go through all the security loops in order to actually test these applications uh, for the development crew, which there's a process to actually get all these uh, resources allocated in a real mainframe environment because it is such a secure um, and, and major platform that hosts the major business transaction in the world. So we want we don't want to just open it up to anyone and everyone who wants to develop a new program for it. So we want to be able to do that on our own system in our own environment. So in that context, is the developing in a virtualized mainframe environment, does that speed time to deployment? Yes, absolutely. Um, that's one of the reasons we create it, and we actually started using this tool internally, and that's how we started getting it out um, to our, our customer base, because we found that it was such uh, a creative and, and new way of developing for mainframe applications that we didn't actually have to use these uh, major resources in order to develop uh, our application. So internally we were doing some development for say like our social network integration uh, or our back-end server infrastructure on the mainframe. Um, we wanted to just be able to do that in our own environment and then when we're done send it out to production on the real stuff that actually runs our server infrastructure. So we thought why wouldn't we want this same, the same capability for our clients and that's where we started uh, hosting that solution now and that's what, what we have here available to us. Now, is this something that, that runs virtualized in something like a VMware, or is this, is this your own virtualization product? It's our own virtualization product. So we have a Linux-based instance uh, running, and then there's ZOS emulation uh, of the actual hardware. So we have the same kind of uh, uh, virtual FICON adapters, the same kind of virtual DASD that a, a ZOS operating system on the mainframe uses, um, but instead in a virtual environment where it's safe to actually use these adapters without actually having to have the hardware and the, the full-scale uh, system running on-site. All right, well, that's pretty cool. Thanks, Michael. Thank you very much.